What's going on, everybody? We're back for Buffalo Bills. It's week 15 already. Do you believe that? Man, the season's almost over. Already. Then we can look forward to the draft and free agency, and maybe next year, if there's not a lockout, that would be pretty tough, huh? Wouldn't be able to make these videos. Maybe I'd do Sabres videos. I don't know. Can't predict that far ahead. Maybe I'll do Syracuse or UB football videos. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Either way, Bills coming off a coming off a win. Was it pretty? No, not at times. Peyton Hill is still ran wild for the most part, even though fifty of his almost fifty of his yards came on the first drive. He fumbled like three times. What did he lose? One? You know, at least this year, we finally beat the Browns. So sick of losing to those chumps. Like, everyone picks us to beat the Browns, like, every year. Like, that's the only game on our schedule that we look at, and we're like, we should win that game. But they beat us, like, the last four times. That's what's... That, that's really the difference between the Bills and every other team. Like, nobody looks at the Bills and says... Like, if... if other fans will look at their schedule and they'll look and say and see like at Bills or versus Bills. They all think that's a winnable game. Oh, we should win that. Oh yeah, we'll beat them. Like they just write that off as a win. Nobody really thinks like except maybe Miami thinks maybe they'll split one or something. Like I but we just need we need to make this team better. We'll talk about that. As the weeks progress. But we won. 3-10 and ten now. You know. Maybe. Got ourselves out of the race for Andrew Luck. But you know again we'll talk about that. As. As the season comes to its conclusion here. What did I like about the win. Against Cleveland. Um, Jackson. Excuse me. Jackson ran the ball. Pretty well. Uh, it, it didn't feel like it, though. He didn't... Most of his yards came in the fourth quarter on the last couple drives when the Bills were just running the clock out, which is good. It just... It didn't feel like we were running the ball as well as we did. Uh, Spiller got worked into it a little bit more, which I definitely like to see. Um, everyone... Like, people are labeling him a bust already. The guy's got... What? I mean, we've played 13... He, 11 games. 11 games and he's a bust. The worst pick I've ever seen. <sighs> Bills fans are just so desperate for some rookie to come in and be dynamic. Just awesome. And it's not realistic. It doesn't happen that often. And now people think Spiller's a bust. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to make that call yet. He's been a little disappointing, but he's not a bust. Lee Evans got hurt out for the year. That's a little um, a little depressing, but I, I, Lee's, I don't know what it is with Lee. He's so on and off. I don't really know how to think about it. Like, I don't want the Bills to get rid of him. But long term, he's only like 30, right? He's going to be 30 next year. I just don't see long term he's going to help the team win. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to trade him. And if, even if they were, the injury probably doesn't help. Um, I don't want to get rid of him. But I can see, I could see the argument for getting rid of him. But I don't really want to. Uh, Steve Johnson's playing well. Didn't play that well last week. It, but, you know, we didn't throw the ball that well. Fitz is not that good, guys. Get it out of your head. He's not that good. Like, yeah, he, he started off on fire. Now teams are accumulating film. He and he's average. We're 3-8 and eight with him at quarterback, and you guys want to take him in the next year? 
Maybe for some continuity. I can understand that. I can understand that if you want some continuity. But we're three and eight under Fitz. Tough schedule, yes. But we're three and eight. Like that's not really that acceptable. I don't see how like he's not a rookie. I don't see how you could say, okay, yeah, that's a guy we want to build around, the guy who's led us to three and eight. The defense has been bad at times, yeah. But think about the points we've scored since, I mean, when? I don't know. Like 19 against the Bears, 14 against the Vikings, 13 against the Browns, 14 against the Lions, 40, one outlier. You got one outlier, which is 49 against the Bengals. But other than that, we, just, we haven't been scoring that many points. We have a couple games where we did. Fitz put up 30 on New England, 49 on Cincinnati. We only got 16 against the Steelers, which Steelers are a good team, so I understand that. I just, I'm not sold. He runs the offense all right. But I, I down the line... He's not going to, I mean, he's not, he's not the future for this team. Maybe he is, but I don't think the future is that much brighter with him. Anyway, we got Miami coming into town this week. Uh, well, not, not coming into town. We're going to Miami's town. Go hang out with Bron Bron, LeBron James, maybe. And, um... Bills got absolutely creamed last year there. Mind you, Trent was the quarterback. And then Fitz beat New or beat Miami in Buffalo. But you know, don't underestimate the weather. You think, oh, it's at least it'll be warm. Like, I don't think cold weather teams really like going to warm weather. Like late in the year. Maybe Spiller will. Maybe David Nelson will. But I think it might actually hurt them because they practice the way they practice. You know what I mean? The Bills practice maybe indoors, but with, you know, they, they get all bundled up to go to practice. And now they're going to be out there sweating. So I don't know if that's detrimental at all. We'll find out. Either way, I don't think the Bills are going to stop the run. Ronnie Brown could run wild. Ricky Williams can run wild. Mark Schlereth said on ESPN if he was the Dolphins, he would not throw the ball at all. Neither would I. Unless it's like a screen to Bess because the Bills will let that happen. Um, make they, the Dolphins are going to make the Bills prove they can stop the run. I, and I don't think they will. I think the Bills have the capability to put up points. I I don't know if they will though. Like I can see them moving the ball a little bit, and then Cameron Wake is probably gonna light up Fitzpatrick. Just light him up. Coming off the edge. He's gonna hit him. Fitzpatrick's gonna get hit a lot again this week. The line's still a struggle. The Bills are gonna have to run the ball to be successful, and I don't know if they will that well. The Dolphins, like I said, are going to run the ball a lot. Probably won't have to throw that much. Chad Henney's not that good either. But being at home, uh, having a bit better of a defense than the Bills, i got to give them the advantage. Uh, you know, the Bills could win. I, could, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Bills won. But... We just go down there and seem to struggle. And I don't know. I'm just picturing them struggling. Like they almost lost to them when they were winless. They got killed last year. I don't know. I just think the Bills. Let's say. Let's say. They're gonna. I think the Bills are gonna lose, guys. I think they'll lose. Twenty-seven, seventeen. Twenty-seven, seventeen. Dolphins. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend, and as always, Go Bills!